My name is Revan the Nub, nine times Apex Master, and here are the five best landing spots on Olympus. And there's a bonus at the end. I would consider all of these S or A tier. They are in no particular order. It's really going to depend on the situation. First up, we have Phase Driver. Phase Driver has absolutely goaded loot. The loot is so good here. And then the Phase Driver itself, you can activate it. It will drop golden balls and other balls that have loot in them. You can do this infinitely, so you can easily get gold items, including gold knockdowns for gold res. You will also often have crafting and beacon at this location, which makes it even better. Another bonus is that compared to some POIs in this map that are very scrunched together, you have a little bit of space between hydroponics, bonsai, and terminal here. The downside of this POI is people know this POI is great, and it will often be contested. So if you're a great fighter, I highly recommend landing here. Otherwise, you might want to land somewhere else. Another disadvantage is if you do land here by yourself and you start activating the phase driver, it is very loud and the POIs near you, any of those teams are going to hear it and may choose to come and fight. And next up is a personal favorite of mine, Elysium. Elysium has really good loot. It has guaranteed gold items in the center. You're gonna get crafter and beacon a lot of times, and this is one of the safer crafters in the game, in my opinion. There's only two ways up for enemies to come up, and that's the zip lines, unless they have a jump pad, jet pack, something like that, then they can get up on this edge here. However, there's always enough loot for three people. It won't always be perfect, but it will be very good and you are in a perfect position to go in third-party hydroponics or go off on your own in general. And you even have a balloon to fly off of. You can basically get anywhere from here. The biggest disadvantage of Elysium is if it is contested, you're probably gonna get third-party by hydroponics. And if it's contested, your loot situation won't be as good as it should be. And Elysium's next door neighbor is next on the list. Hydroponics has so much loot. Two buildings on top, two buildings off to the side, a bunch of small buildings, many, many bins, which also gives you a lot of crafting materials. You have a whole underground structure with loot in it. There is so much loot and you have a trident. And then if people are scared off of Elysium because you landed at hydroponics, you get Elysium too. It's like a bonus deal at Target. And then as far as crafter and beacon goes, you're either gonna have crafter and beacon here at hydroponics or you're gonna have Crafter and Beacon at Elysium next door, basically 90% of the time. If you are contested here, it's not that bad to fight. I enjoy fighting at this POI. There's enough loot for everybody to grab a little something and then get right into the action. Another option is somebody might land at Elysium and you can go and send them very early, which can catch them off guard. Unless, of course, they're good players and they are watching for you. Another option is to go over to the other POI that I like, which is Phase Driver, and try to catch them off guard. No matter what, you have a lot of options, which is why I like all of these POIs. Next up, you have Docs. I really enjoy fighting at Docs and contesting teams at Docs. However, a lot of times it is uncontested because you have Carrier, which is a safer option, and you also have Fight Night, which has better loot. And that's why Docs is so good. It has good loot. Its loot is spread out. So if you are being contested, you can definitely grab some stuff. It has guaranteed gold loot on the back over here in these three bins. I think the crafter at Docs has a nice position. Also, in comparison to Carrier and Fight Night, Docs is actually elevated. So it has the high ground on these POIs. The disadvantage of Docs is the loot isn't as good as other places. Also, you are sandwiched between several POIs together, which is great if you want to fight, but a disadvantage if you want to sneak away. And last, we have Rift. Rift is slept on, I am telling you. The loot is not bad at Rift, it's just spread out. The number one thing you have to watch for at this POI is getting too spread from your team. You almost want to be an efficient unit when looting so that you do not get too spread out. And at any point, if you get in trouble, you can go into the center rift and rotate. You can literally rotate all the way across the map if you want to because people are really scared of the phase runner, but it's really not that dangerous to take. I've only been killed coming out of it on occasion, and it can give you just a massive rotate that catches most people off guard. Another big disadvantage of Rift is the crafter location. The crafter location is abysmal. I have been killed on this crafter so many times. You have to have somebody watching for you. But other than that, Rift is a low key location that is also great for third partying the nearby POIs. All right, here's your bonus location. 
anywhere. People like to watch guides like this and be like, these are the best. I always want to land here. Landing is the most important part of consistently ranking up. The number one thing to keep in mind is not being over contested by too many teams. You're just leaving your RP up to chance. You need to be thinking about where other teams are landing near you and make a drop location based on that. You can have POI preferences like I prefer these, but Every game is going to be different, and that's also what keeps the game fresh. My only note is don't land Waterfall. The teams that three-man land Waterfall because it has like a little bit of loot, it just drives me insane. There's not enough loot there for three people. You are literally throwing your game. Also, I think landing Waterfall slash Hammond Labs is just a bad idea too. So that's my bonus advice for you today. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.